Hey folks, welcome to my channel. In this Blender tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this refractive dispersion glass shader. It's a relatively easy material to make. It can be used for various different use cases, such as jewellery, crystals, vases and chandeliers, etc. I used a similar setup to create this animated glitch effect logo you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, we're going to open up Blender. Um, I've got a couple of things set up here before we start, so I'm just going to add a mesh plane as a ground base, go into edit mode and we'll scale that by say 25 times, that'll do. Um, I've also got a material pre-prepared. I'm also going to add a world texture, uh, well a sky texture, so it's under texture, sky texture. I'm going to add that to my shader. We're in cycles mode by the way, uh, say around about 0.5 and a sum value 0.3. These parts aren't very important. Uh, I'm going to do the rotation minus 45 degrees and then an elevation of 30. I'll just go into rendered view, make sure that I've got everything set up correctly. Excellent, I have. Um, if you're interested in this uh, material here by the way, I'll just uh, give you the node setup of that in case you want to work with that I mean any texture would do you know you can use an image texture so just take a screenshot of that to prepare that but the tutorial is not about this it's about the glass shader so I'm going to continue with that we're going to need a mesh to add the glass shader onto I'm going to use the monkey I'll just rotate it round so we can kind of snap it to the floor Go into front view mode actually. G Z. Just set this up real quick. R X. So I want it sat on the base ish. Doesn't have to be exactly precise. That'll do. I don't want any intersection. I'm also gonna hit I'll go to the modifiers and if I push control 3 that will add a subdivision surface of level 3 only on viewport though so I'll put it on render as well right so got everything set up here let's get on with the shader so with Suzanne selected I'm going to add a new material um, I'm going to delete the uh, principal shader we don't need that instead I'm going to add shader glass I'm going to make the shader editor slightly bigger. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'll duplicate it again. So we've got four glass shaders here. The first one, the index of refraction, is going to be set to 1.35. The second one will be 1. Uh, 1.4. Third one will be 1.45 and the fifth one will be 1.5. I'm then going to add a shader, add shader. So we're going to need three of these. So first things first, I connect those two up together. I'm going to duplicate that add shader by hitting Shift D. And then I'm going to connect this one up. And then the third one, I'm going to connect this one to the third one as well. Now the top glass BSDF that's going to be red so go to RGB I'm going to mute green and blue. The second one is going to be green. The third one is going to be red. So I'm going to mute those. Um, also for the white I'm actually going to have that at a value of 0.25 for now. We can actually control how bright the shader is going to be using the bright uh, the brightness of this glass shader here. I'm then going to add a transparent shader. So shader transparent. I'm going to make sure that that's set to white. Sometimes the value is set to like 0.9 or something like that. So always make sure that the value is set to white. I'm then going to add a shader mix shader. I'm going to mix the two values here. And then I'm going to plug that into the surface here. It's all looking a bit crazy at the moment, guys. 
all, re all will be revealed. I don't know why that's coming out orange, actually. Oh, hang on. This is meant to be blue. What am I doing? There you go. That's better. So we're already getting the dispersion effect at the moment. I'm then going to add a light path node. So input, go to light path. I'm then going to take the glossy depth and use that as the mix factor. Um, and that's pretty much the shader in a nutshell. Um, fairly straightforward. You can, if you look into the actual glass shader itself, um, where you see the RGB channels kind of split up together, you can increase uh, the amount where it splits. So if I was to increase, uh, decrease this number by 2.5, I'll increase, then I'll increase this by 1 here then I'd increase this by two here you actually get a wider spread so it looks like the RGB channels are further split maybe if I add say like a default cube um, I'm going to go into edit mode I'll drag that on the z-axis oh that's a bit too high hang on let me get out of this view I'll just drag this around to here. I might add a bevel modifier just to make it easier to see what's going on. Um, let's say we'll add eight segments to that. I'm going to hit Z, shade smooth, go to auto smooth, so normals, auto smooth, there you go. And then we'll add that glass shader material, the dispersion material, which I believe was that one. Yeah, so as I was saying, the red, green and blue channels, you can see the distance of how much they've split. So I can increase this. Um, so it looks like they're split even further apart, but I like to keep them quite close. So 1.3, 1.4. And then we'll say 1.4. And there you go the RGB channels are a lot a lot closer together now um, if you're going to change the roughness it's a good idea to add um, a value node so input value I'll connect that up to the roughness of the green the blue and the red um, I can also connect it to the white and then obviously you know you can change your roughness which is quite handy um, but for artistic uh, purposes you can also animate these figures which is pretty good um, so for artistic um, kind of a workflow I'm just going to change this white roughness so say like 0.5 and you still get the clarity of the RGB channels which you know combined you you're kind of getting white because red, green and blue make white but then when you combine it with the white you'll get an, an extra layer um, of control um, and what I mean by changing the value of say the white colour like the power of the white colour under the value you know you can really make it come out really bright here um, turn the roughness right up bring that into there 0.5 and uh yep that's basically it in a nutshell so i hope you enjoyed this uh quick tutorial uh let me know your thoughts you know if you want me to change anything or if you have any questions regarding this setup um it's a really great setup like i say it's good for crystals and vases chandeliers and uh, an array of other things including this animated logo on the bottom right hand corner so if you found value in this content, you can support my channel by smashing the like button. If you want to see more up and coming tutorials, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.